So we did a prospective intrapatient controlled study of patients receiving superficial keratectomy for epithelial basement membrane dystrophy, recurrent erosion syndrome, or Salzman's nodular in preparation for refractive cataract surgery. Essentially what we did was we take, took 10 patients with bilateral disease that was either symmetric or asymmetric in severity, and we either randomized the eyes to receive a Procara in one eye following superficial keratectomy versus a bandage contact lens in the other. For patients with asymmetric disease, we put the Procara to the challenge and we placed the Procara in the eye with the worst clinically significant disease and the bandage contact lens in the less severe eye. Our endpoints that we're interested in measuring were rate and speed of healing and complete re-epithelialization, corneal clarity, presence of haze, scar tissue. We're looking at the deltas in visual acuity. And as a secondary endpoint, given that we were primarily interested in the quality of healing, the secondary endpoint was reports of discomfort from the patient. So patients all received bilateral superficial keratectomies on the same day using a 15 blade and the immediate placement of um, a Procara Slim or a bandage contact lens as they were randomized or selected for. What we found was that the Procara group of eyes, every single case, all 10 patients, they healed faster with better quality healing. There was not a single eye that received the bandage contact lens, despite the presence and use of a steroid regimen that healed without scar or haze. As a group, the Vantage contact lens eyes lost two lines of best corrected visual acuity, proving that that haze and scar was clinically significant and visually significant. And the Procara eyes as a group gained two lines of visual acuity. So the quality of healing was significantly better. Furthermore, in terms of risk stratification, one patient out of the 10 developed a fungal fusarium keratitis in the bandage contact lens eye. And in the Procara eyes, there were no adverse events. And when we look at the secondary endpoint of comfort, and it bears being said that these procedures or surgical procedures that are being done to provide better quality healing we're not doing a, a Procara device or performing these procedures to really provide comfort as a primary endpoint. We really are interested in providing quality healing, but we did want to sort of uh, challenge the Procara Slim to see if it was more or less comfortable than the previous gold standard, the bandage contact lens. And what we found was that there's no statistically significant difference in patient self-reports of pain or discomfort between the Procara Slim and a bandage contact lens. And I think that once and for all sort of busts the myth that the Procara line is uncomfortable, even though that's not our primary interest.